Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to review uh, SK33A, which is a RS version of a, a of a HKG3. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so let's begin. Don't waste time. I'm sorry. Just uh, turn off the receiver and that. Yeah. And then the trigger frame, the trigger housing, magazine, okay. So let's, uh, let's uh, fire it. Firing, it's a single fire. So in single fire, okay, I'm gonna rotate over here. So you can see more clearly, for the trigger engage, the, the sear, which is connected to the hammer. So when you pull the trigger, you push the sear over here to go higher, while sear over here to go down, which is allow it to disengage the hammer. When it beats disengage the hammer, the hammer will hit in firing pin, of course. The firing the round, and then blowback happen. Call it below blowback happen. Okay. And then it push down the the, the blowback happen, it will push back the ball carrier. The ball carrier will push down the hammer. The hammer will be engaged by the auto sear first. And then when the ball carrier hitting the release lever, the release lever will push the auto sear away, disengaging the hammer. Now the hammer will be engaging the sear pushing the sear back into the trigger over here. So the trigger is still being pulled, like still being pulled, okay? So it's still in a position. When you release the trigger, it allow the sear to go back, sit on top of the trigger here, and allowing the hammer to be ready for firing. Simple like that. So that's a uh, single fire. So watch it carefully. Okay. So now what full auto is, is very simple. Basically, the full, uh, full auto is when you rotate the selector lever, allowing the trigger to go a little bit higher. So as you can see here in single fire, you see how high this trigger can go or how how far this trigger can be close with the uh, hand grip. Okay, so this is this is single fire. You see the distance there? That's the maximum distance single fire because there's selector lever here. Okay, now pull out. I'm gonna show you very fast. You see, very close to the hand grip here, because, because as you can see, when you fire, you pull the trigger, the trigger, just like single fire, the trigger will go down, just like in single fire, except the trigger now sit on this cutout here, or cutout of trigger here, of the trigger, okay? I'm saying trigger, so uh, the video has been getting a uh, uh, like a limited ad. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm I'm saying a word that being heard by the bot as a something else. But the YouTube people is very nice. They helping me solving that problem. So I'm gonna mention really quick for you. Please like and subscribe. It's helped the channel a lot. It helped my self-esteem. Uh, help me to give me a, a support to keep making video. Because if you're just watching without like or subscribing, then I no, don't, don't. <laughs> you just watch. Huh? You don't leave a comment or a like or subs. Uh, please like and subscribe. It's free. It's good for your for your uh, health, health and my health. So. Also, if you uh, 
come from a family of means, which is you have money uh, that you don't use, you can, uh, you know, send it to me right here. Become a member of the channel. Okay, it really support the channel also. Uh, but most importantly, like and subscribe. That's really, really uh, give me a boost, moral boost to keep continue making videos. So thank you very much for your like and subscribe. If you uh, have not, please do. And if you do, thank you very much. You're a loyal viewer. Let's go back to the video. I'm spending 30 seconds on this. Okay, let's go back. So where are we? Okay. So, yeah. This is still a single firing, like like it's still a st single single firing mechanism, but right here, this this is where it changed because the trigger having more space to be pulled, so you can have full trigger pull, which is the trigger will 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 be pulled very close to the hand grip, okay, and full auto, okay, like this, allowing you to. Keep pushing because you now have full trigger pull. You can keep pushing the sear to this one, this sear on this part to go up, while the sear on this part, on this part, to go down. When it's go down, it's go down a little bit more, right here. So now the sear will not engage the hammer. Okay, because you pull it more, more deep, the sear to go down more okay so like that so the sear will not engage the hammer but the outer sear is now the one that keep engaging the hammer and releasing the hammer with the keep engaging the the outer sear is the one that keep engaging the hammer and releasing the hammer when the release lever is being pushed down by the ball carrot which is creating a perfect timing for a continuous full auto firing as long as the sear did not engage the hammer at all okay so when you pull the trigger and you keep it keep holding it then pull the auto will continue because that's how the system work in g3 which is hk design g3 mp5 uh maybe hk and mp5 uh, hk g g3 and mp5 so uh g3 g3 hk g3 derived uh, design i think using this similar method okay but there is a, a hk pistol which is let's go hk pistol that using a roller delay okay i'm gonna leave it on the description so you can watch it also so this is this this uh design is, is very unique because uh it was more simpler with the roller delay blowback mechanism which is we don't need a gas system like a short stroke gas piston or, or long stroke gas piston or a, a direct impingement the, there is no gas being fended back into the into the ball carrier or pushing back the ball carrier there's no gas at all but using a direct, direct blowback that will push back the bolt head and the, allowing the locking roller to get into the uh, bolt head and then the system cycle just using pure uh, delay Pure delay, uh, blow, blowback uh, roller delay. Okay, so it's just using blowback, but with timing of uh, this roller locking roller roller here. So let's continue back to the trigger mechanism here. So as you can see, full auto firing. You basically engage engage the sear a little bit. Uh, you you basically engage the trigger. You pull the trigger a little bit more deep. So allowing the sear to go down a little bit more and you keep it there and then you you allow the auto sear in the in the release lever and the ball carrier to work their uh, their their mechanism to creating a single uh full auto firing so that's that simple i'm gonna okay let's continue holding the, the firing so you can see this is for other very simple very amazing like uh, the simplicity is really cool and this is the ejector okay. so as you can see so the ejector always 
always done here until the bolt carrier uh, push down this ejector over here allowing the this ejector to go up and kicking the round and the empty casing out of the uh, weapon out of the pl platform okay. so that's the firing mechanism very simple uh, for me i think it's very simple because you see that amazing huh? once again okay uh, how many time okay 10 minutes okay you gotta go 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 okay uh, so basically that uh i'm gonna uh, okay let's see the uh, safety 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 so, so I, i'm gonna keep it keep stressing it uh so basically the, the firing mechanism was controlled by the selector lever so how it how the selector lever control the trigger to create a full auto semi auto and a safety basically in full auto you see there is space here this is full auto allowing the trigger to be full more uh, or higher okay so the trigger go higher over here okay now uh, single fire basically limiting the how high you can pull the trigger right there okay now safety you basically preventing the trigger from go up you hold it in place that's safety okay okay why okay okay <laughs> i'm sorry about the the game just take it my uh asd asdw uh, control a little bit too much so that's safety Safety basically trigger cannot move because there is no space by the lever selector here. So, so yeah, that's a final mechanism. We spent 12 minutes. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, for the roller delay blowback, uh, I'm gonna explain it very fast. Uh, firing, fire, you see, any fire, the gas go, go out of the barrel, and the, the gas also, like its expansion to the gas go go into the least resistance which is uh, propelling the the bullet forward but also the the gas also push back the the casing away so when the when you're firing i think the animation is a little bit wrong because what should be moving Hello, hello. Sorry about that. So I hope uh, we still, you can still hear me. Okay, what the hell is that? Okay, I'm sorry. I think I, I'm saying hell, which is I now need to. Uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, it's 12 minutes into the video. Let's continue. So the gas. The gas pushing back the casing the casing was being pulled by the bolt head so the what's right i think the bolt head will go first pushing pushing the locking roller against the the frame against the frame the against the frame and uh, the frame will push the locking roller into the bolt which is allowing it to unlock at the safe pressure, okay? And now uh, the locking roller is inside the bolt head, which is now it's unlocked and the, and the, like the momentum keep continuing back, okay? 
Now the bolt head is uh, connected with this uh, bolt carrier. Now the bolt carrier being pushed back by the momentum of a uh, gas inside the casing head, like that. And then the bolt carrier push up the ejector. The ejector uh, go up and kicking the casing out. And then like that. And then now the the bolt head is pushing the fresh round into the barrel. Okay. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. So we're firing. It's I I just cannot move on with this. I even I'm not expert, but even I understand that why this thing move first. What pushing these locking pieces and the bolt carrier back? Nothing pushing it back. Okay. What pushing it back? It should be the bo the locking roller here pushing this this thing locking pieces backward because the gas is pushing this bolt head. Okay. The gas is pushing this casing and then casing is connected to the bolt head. The bolt head go back from the pressure. So the, this bolt head being pushed back. And when it's being pushed back, and the locking roller will be pushed into the bolt head by the by the frame, and then okay, I'm just the animation. In my opinion, maybe I'm wrong. You can tell me in the comment, but it, this is wrong. The animation wrong here. In my opinion, okay. Now this block animation is right, okay? Because to lock, then locking pieces will go forward, pushing this lo uh, locking roller into the into the outside of the bolt head, which is uh, engaging the frame, which is locking it. Now it's ready for firing. So that's single fire. You see, when you fire. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Why the ball carrier move first? Why? What pushing it back? <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. Okay, there is something wrong with the design, but the point is the 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 point of the Locking uh, the ro ro roller delay blowback is basically the simplicity because you're using the the pressure inside the barrel to push back the bolt head, allowing it to unlock at the safe safe pressure pr pressure. Okay, allowing it to unlock at the at the safe pressure, so you don't need the the gas mechanism to cycle the rifle you're just using a, a delay okay and blowback so simple like that okay so there's no gas entering the system uh, and there's no uh, uh, gas tube to be clean or something like that there, there's no none of that okay so that's 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 uh, the, the the beauty of this design which is the simplicity and the multi-caliber adaptation of it okay so so i guess that's it uh what else okay 19 minutes i'm sorry to wasting your time but i think the animation is wrong maybe that's my opinion tell me in the comment who's wrong in this in this part okay i'm okay being wrong so let's continue okay so now let's review okay reloading we always forget that so the reloading okay okay the reloading is like m16 style reloading which is from this side so when you this is uh, 
different than G3 or this is this is different than AK, AK style. Because in AK, this magazine release lever is directly engaging the magazine, keeping it together. So there's a rock forward, uh, backward kind of thing of uh, AK mag magazine reloading. But in this one, this is basically similar to M16 design. So reloading again. And the magazine release lever, uh, engaging the magazine catch working piece, pushing it into the left side, uh, allowing it to the magazine catch to disengage the magazine, releasing it. Okay, so that's that's the amazing system there. So the magazine did not hold open. Okay. okay. So we can <laughs> okay in this in this uh, design we cannot do the HK HK slab. So basically you, you pull back the cocking handle and put it right here. Okay. And when you so when you put the magazine and then you reload. Okay. So you see that. Uh, the animation did not allow for edge case slab so so yeah let's continue it's folding stock which is not folding stock retractable jesus christ this is a retractable stock okay not folding stock or collapsible stock collapsible stock is very similar to what one to one in ak uh, uh ak design from eastern Borg or a uh, uh, Uzi, which is a collapsible. Okay, so now uh, remove the bipod. Okay, folding it. Okay, now putting scope mount, which is have Picatinny on it. Uh, what next? Okay, let's see the optic scope RDS red dot side. Okay, just call it red dot. Why you call it RDS? Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's remove this. Remove, remove, remove. Okay, uh, remove it. Okay. Uh, in this normal color, rotating focus. Okay. So yeah, um, I think this is twenty-two minutes. I'm sorry for wasting your time on the on the faulty animation. In my personal opinion, a faulty animation on the roller delay blowback system. If I'm wrong, I'm open for your criticism in the comment. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Uh, which is going to be, as you know, it's probably going to be a full review of a HK G3 family design roller delay blowback. So I will see you very, very soon. Uh, like and subscribe. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Uh, yeah, bye-bye. Uh, check other video. Don't, 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 don't go watch other, 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 other channel yet. Keep watching my video. There's other video you can watch on my channel. Bye-bye.